What's up, YouTube? Decided to go ahead and make a quick video, real quick, on my um, my Devo 7 to the uh, Nasa flight controller setup. Um, a lot of you guys been having a lot of trouble with it. I've been having guys out for a while now, and um, a couple people asked me to make a video, so I decided to go ahead and have a go at it. Um, but the same settings for the Devo 7 works for the Devo F7. Same thing. The Devo F7 is a little bit easier to program. Um, this Devo 7 is, is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> I, I basically, I figured it out just through trial and error. Um, but let's do it. So you go into the uh, the software. You want to go over to the model. And first thing first, to make sure the type is set to arrow which is this one um, and for some reason if you go from heli to arrow um, it would completely erase every single thing you've done um, so keep that in mind if you ever change this around for some reason you have to redo all of this step over again so just keep it an arrow and you'll be good to go uh, but hit enter on that to select it then hit the ext button then you want to go down to input now this is where you select whether you want to use the the mix switch or use the flight mode switch but in my case I like using the the mix switch um, to change up the flight modes um, to keep me from bumping the the flight mode switch I'm real bad about that but you set this one to mix um, you can change it by pressing the R or the L then you go down to this one. I have no clue what it means, but it has to be set on the COMM to make it work. Um, you want to hold. And this one has to be set to mix to work with the mix switch. If you're going to use the flight mode switch, you would change this one to the FMD by pressing the, the, the um, right or the left button. But like I said, I'm using mine on the mix. And that's pretty much it for those settings on that one um, from there you hit the exit button and go to output hit enter now this one this is basically where you're setting up to use the uh, the aux 2 button and how to use the the gear switch um, I'm currently using my aux 2 button to control the flight gains and I'm using the gear switch to control the um, the home lock and course lock modes um, but you want to have the gear set to gear you can change it by pressing the R or the L <clears throat> down button to activate don't know what it means but it has to be set to this SYS on the flap and you press down again you want AUX2 to AUX2 and activate and that's pretty much it for that setting alright so you go from there um, you want to have your your nozzle of course hooked up to your laptop or your computer or, or whatever you choose to use um, and you want to go over into the function mode and you, you will need the software to be able to see um, how your setting changes is affecting the, the flight controller you go over you know change the way the aux 2 switches or any of that stuff you go into this um, but all of mine is, is currently set to normal so you can change if you like but that's just up to you all right the travel adjustment I did have to change the gear settings um, the gear setting once again that's what controls the home lock course lock mode and to get it to work, you have to turn the uh, the gear to negative 91.5. That is um, home lock, and that is position one. Position zero is, of course, the plus 100. And I'll show you how that affects this on the switch here real quick. Let me get this TX call here going. Or TX calibrate, I'm calling the call. All right, so so now when you flip the switch from um, from zero to one, see how it makes the bar move? Let me go over to the autopilot there. And see now it's on the in position zero. That is home lock. 
You flip it to one, it goes to off. Now, if you want to go from like um, off the course lock, what you have to do is change the vowel of the negative side. The plus side of it is um, off. So you change this one. <coughs> Whoops. Now, if you take those numbers down to like, um, I think it was negative 30 something. You see, you can see the bar on here moving as I change it. Now, home lock is off. Is at 50 something? There. Okay. Thirteen five for course. So now when I flip the switch, it'll go from of to course. But I don't really use the course lock. I, I like to use a home lock, um, as I was saying earlier. So let me change that back. And actually, the um, the home lock starts at whoops, wrong way. Home lock starts at like 60 something, I think. Maybe 55, negative 55, it starts the home lock. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 59.5. But I, I have mine set to negative 91.5, so I'm going to leave mine at that. But that's how you change from um, home lock to course lock. All right. Next, you got the um, you have your flight mode switch. So what you want to do is go down to sub trim is normal. Your dual rates, dual rates expo. You know that just makes it more agile. You can change to make it fly soft or fly light, aggressive, however you like it. Uh, throttle hold, don't need that. Throttle curve, not using it. You want to go down to your flaps and press enter. Now, this first set of stuff here, the EL, NRM, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. You have to uh, press the down button and go over to this one, the FP, NRM. Um, U is, the U90 is GPS mode, which would be position zero on the uh on the mix switch okay the next one if you press the down button the u6 that is altitude mode then the last one <clears throat> is manual mode the d77 on this one and uh you can change these numbers to any kind of way you want it it'll it'll you can go from fail safe to gps to altitude mode or, or however you want to just by playing with these numbers here um, within this you know parameter but uh, I'll show you that real quick see it's calibrate now see right now position zero is in uh, GPS mode but once you flip the switch middle ways altitude the very bottom is manual and you can change this in the kind of way you want <clears throat> But let me show you, once you change the numbers here, it'll make it go into something different. See, it's already off of GPS mode. And now you got failsafe. And failsafe is at U63. So, now on the switch, I have manual, altitude, failsafe, if I want it. <clears throat> but I don't use the fail sway on the mix switch. I mean, I'll, I'll show you what I do for that here in a second. Uh, let me get this back where I had it on 90. See? There you go. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> now the rest of the stuff on this, um, you got that. 
I don't use none of that stuff. It's, I just leave it at zero. Like this, I didn't have to change none of that to get this to work the way it is now. This is all I had to change. And that's your flight mode switch. Um, now, in order to get what I do, I use for the fail safe mode, um, I just turn the mall control off. If you can set it up on the safe, and what will happen is, as soon as you turn the mall control off, and you have this set up, it'll automatically kick it into the fail safe mode. But you had to have the fixed ID hooked up and all that stuff, but I, I'll show you that too. But uh, you want to go into safe, hit the enter button, go to flaps, because flaps controls the flight mode, and activate it on the safe. So press the, um, the R or the L, and you want it on safe for it to work. Um, then go over here and press the down button. And <clears throat> fail safe is actually is not zero. It's 33, I believe it is. It's a U33. Let's see. Okay, this should be the fail safe mode. So set that to flap U33. Then aux two hold. You want to set up on that. And that's pretty much it. And it's going to make it to where when you set up the fixed ID, it's going to automatically go into fail safe. And I will show you that here. All right, so go back about all of that and go over to your model type. And from the model, you hit the enter button and you go to fixed ID, which is the very last selection. You hit the enter button and you want to turn it on so press the down button oh nope not down it's the right or the left button to turn it on and then you hit the down button now you can change this code if you allow okay the battery just died on the camera <laughs> okay you go to fix id you go to enter and you press the left button to turn it on or L or R, either one. Then you press the down button. It um, you can change this code if you want to. You can leave the same however you want to do it. Um, just completely up to you. Um, but from there you hit the enter button. It gives you the option to change it with the left or right button to get to the different numbers you press up and down. Then left and right to change numbers. So you hit the um, the enter button once you got your number set up the way you like it, and you press the R or L to select yes, then hit enter and let it run. It should be once it does it. There. Now the reason why you want to set up the fixed ID is because with the Devo's remote control setups and everything, you don't have to go through the sync process when you first turn it on. For some reason, if it's already flying and you don't have the fixed ID set up, you can't link back to it. But it's going to fly itself home, but you can't cancel it because the remote control won't link. If you had the fixed ID set up, it'll automatically link directly back to the remote control. But since now this is set up, I'll show you that real quick. Um, mobile control zone is turning off. It's on uh, GPS mode. See, it went directly to fail safe. Now, if the fixed ID wasn't set up, it wouldn't link back up. So now I'm going to turn it back on. And it's automatic link and goes directly back into GPS mode. And everything works fine. See? So, oh yeah, the other thing, the um, the aux two button, not button, the um, the gain switch, or the gain knob rather. Um, if you go here to autopilot, and you see when I roll the knob around, it will change those values of the numbers. And I only mess with the pitch and the roll. And to get those selected, you know, if I wanted to change the, the y'all too, you know, all you got to do is just change this one here to X1. And it's going to start moving that one around too now. You know, so it's, it's just kind of, you know, whatever setup you like, whatever you prefer. 
um, animal control is going dead. But anyway, um, that's pretty much my setup. Um, if any of you guys need any more help, any more questions, um, just talk to me. You know, shoot me a message, email me, and uh, we'll get you fixed up, man. But I hope this video helped you guys, and happy flying.